Bitcoin would reach $1 million in around 90 days. $1 million Reno in three months, ladies and gents. How realistic is this? And it's not coming from some random YouTuber or clown influencer. It's literally coming from one of the smartest dudes in this space. A notable person, Balaji Srinivasan, who predicted that Bitcoin would reach 1 million in around 90 days. And he literally put his own money. He's betting on it. Like million dollars bet. Listen, either something is going on, which I have no idea, all right? Or this is fake news. Just to manipulate the entire market and to rob us retailers. Srinivasan entered a bet with two individuals that same day, pointing up 1 million with the pseudonymous Twitter pundit James Medlock and another unnamed person. Wow, $1 million bet. If Bitcoin fails to notch what would be historic gains, the two would receive 1 million in circles USDC stablecoin each. Bowser. The bet is part of Srinivasan's view that the global economy is teetering on the edge of rapid change, which he dubbed hyper bitcoinization he predicts the us dollar will enter a point of rapid hyperinflation and the global economy then redominates on bitcoin as digital gold they are hungry to have that back he said it's just disappointing to see it fueled by an unrealistic bet in such a risky macro environment other voices such as song appeared supportive of ideas expressed in Navasan's bet claiming bitcoin could have some utility during an existential crisis for the financial system as it's known today bitcoin will play a crucial role in mitigating some of the catastrophic effects he said as a strictly limited currency, Bitcoin offers a much better store of value, dampening the impact of hyperinflation. Srinivasan is not the only person out there who has envisioned a 1 million price per Bitcoin. In January of last year, Kathy Wood's ARK Invest estimated that Bitcoin could exceed 1 million by 2030, saying the network is likely to scale as nation states adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. Now, why would Kathy Wood want the entire world to know about her prediction? Listen, I'm a strong believer of Bitcoin and crypto. However, whenever I see news and reports and outlandish claims and statements like this, my seventh sense kicks in and my third eye wakes up. So definitely I have to pay attention and be a little skeptical, right? So do what you will with the information. Just don't go against humanity and we shall see what happens to Bitcoin. Other than that, another notable news Coinbase chief legal officer, what FTX did was flat out fraud. How many times do we have to clarify or need validation? FTX was fraud, is fraud, and always will be fraud as long as it's tied to Sam Bankman Freed. Sam Bankman Freed to propose revised bail package by next week. Wait, what do you mean by revised? Guys, listen, can we just put him behind bars already? We know exactly he's guilty. What is there to prove? Oh, yeah proven guilty or not by the court of law but regardless we clearly know the truth so why don't we just put him behind bars and close the chapter and move on and regulators could focus on making regulations better and not only just to favor the billionaires but just keep it maybe standard and fair without creating any unfair advantage for the insiders and then maybe we can see some hope and light at the end of the tunnel last but not the least I didn't want to touch on this because it involves a little bit of politics, but I also mentioned that politics is involved with most of the stuff in our life, and you can't ignore politics if you are in crypto, and that's the reality. And also remember, 2025 and 2024 is going to be a very important years, so pay attention because the presidential election will dictate quite a bunch of stuff, including the future of America. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis proposes law to ban CBDCs. The Biden ad administration is studying the possibility of introducing a central bank. Ron wants to ban it. I do stand with Ron on this because I don't want CBDCs. I'm a Bitcoiner and it's obvious. Today's announcement will protect Florida's consumers and businesses from the reckless adoption of a centralized digital dollar, which will stifle innovation and promote government sanctioned surveillance. The proposed law would also prohibit in Florida the use of a CBDC issued by any overseas central bank. The governor's statement calls on other states to adopt similar legislation. In addition to privacy concerns, DeSantis said a federal CBDC would diminish the role of community banks and credit unions. This is an important thing which I haven't seen many mention. The CBDC CBDCs would diminish the role of community banks and credit unions. I personally support credit unions and I have an account with my local credit union. So, and I believe other states should at least check this out and maybe consider. So ladies and gents, that's all I have for you. Stay vigilant. Let me know what you think in the comments. What's your opinion on this market right now? Are you buying? Are you selling? 
because clearly one day it goes up, one day it goes down. So it's really hard to figure things out. 